Well, I think this is right. You can correct me. You have never led a tour group down to the Cove of the Sower. No. And why is that? It's almost impossible to get to. <laughs> okay, so it was amazing to go to. It was a lot of work. It was worth the work. But the average person coming to Israel is not going to make that stop. No, from the place that we found a park that we could access it, it was probably 45 minutes hike. Over rocks. It was very difficult to get there. Jeremy, we've come to the northern shore of the Sea of Galilee. And as you can tell, there's a natural cove here in the shoreline just behind us. In the mid-1980s, there was a drought in this area and the water level dropped and exposed a number of harbors around the Sea of Galilee. We know from Luke chapter five that one of the times Jesus was coming along this side of the sea, there were a lot of people crowding around him trying to hear him. And when he got to some spot around here, he got into a boat with Peter and pushed back from the shore and spoke up to the people that were still on the land. Now, standing here in this cove, you can turn around and see it forms kind of a natural amphitheater. And it's really easy to imagine Jesus, this is his stage as he turns and faces the people and speaks up to them. Many people have questioned whether or not Jesus could actually be heard by a large group of people if he's a few feet off the shoreline. Let's do an experiment. Let me go up the hill a little ways. And when I get up there, I want you to read the parable of the sower in a natural but loud speaking voice. And let me see if I can hear it. Sounds good. if I can hear you. All right, I'm going to read from Matthew 13. That same day, Jesus went out of the house and sat beside the sea, and great crowds gathered about him so that he got into a boat and sat down. The instant he started talking, I thought for a second he was still using the intercom. I could hear him perfectly. No doubt if I was twice as far away, I could have heard him easily. And the whole crowd stood on the beach. And he told them many things in parables, saying, A sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seeds fell along the path, and the birds came and devoured them. Other seeds fell on rocky ground, where they did not have much soil, and immediately they sprang up, since they had no depth of soil. But when the sun rose, they were scorched, and since they had no root, they withered away. Other seeds fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked them. Other seeds fell on good soil and produced grain, some a hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. He who has ears, let him hear. The parable of the sower really marked the beginning of Jesus using parables in his ministry. That, that one really paved the way and you finally get to the end of the parable and Jesus has this invitation, he who has ears to hear, let him hear. Explaining even to his disciples afterwards who didn't get the parable that we need to make sure that we're paying attention and allowing Jesus to teach us what he wants to teach us and that we're going to hear and allow his word to go deep into our lives. 